Every website should be connected to the Google Search Console. Why? Well, the Google Search Console allows you to track, analyze, and optimize your website's performance on Google Search. You can identify keywords that you're currently ranking for, as well as discover new keywords, and you can see which website pages and posts are performing well and which ones are not. So today in this strategy-focused Google Search Console tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can optimize and rank your website pages on Google Search using this powerful free analytics tool. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and optimize your website using the Google Search Console. Okay, so to arrive at the Google Search Console, simply head over to your browser and type in search.google.com forward slash search console. And that's going to take you here or search for Google Search Console on Google and look for the first result. Then once you've arrived inside your Google Search Console, simply navigate up to the top right hand corner and make sure that you're signed in to the correct Google account. Now this Google Search Console tutorial is for those that have already connected the Search Console with their website. If you're yet to do this, what I'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description which will guide you through the process of the initial setup and connection of the Google Search Console with your website. Now each website platform is slightly different, however you can find the relevant tutorial for your website in the description below this video. Okay, so once you've arrived inside the Google Search Console and after you've connected your website to the Search Console, you'll be taken to the Overview section inside your Search Console. And this is where you can see a basic snapshot of your website's performance. However, what we want to do is navigate over to Performance, and under Performance, what we want to do is locate Search Results. And this is where we want to spend the majority of our time in this tutorial. Now, if we navigate up here, you can see that this is the performance on search results. So this is how our website is performing on Google search. And first, what we want to do is make sure that all these options are selected. So if we navigate over here, you can see that we have total clicks. This is the total number of clicks that your website receives on web. So this is in Google search results over the last three months. And we can change the period over here if we like. However, for now, let's keep three months selected and then navigate over to total impressions. And this is the total number of impressions that your website receives over the period that you've added. And think about impressions as someone seeing your website link in search engines and maybe they scroll past your link and don't click on your link, but that's still included as an impression. So an impression is someone seeing your website link in search engines, but not necessarily clicking through to your website. Next, we have the average click-through rate, and this is the percentage of impressions that resulted in clicks. So the average click-through rate is the total number of impressions over the last three months that resulted in clicks. And as you can see, that's 0.5%. And last, we have average position. And this is essentially the average position that your website appears in search engines when someone is searching for a query in Google search. Okay, so let's further understand these results. Now, if we navigate down further, for this website and over the last three months, you can see that these are the top queries. Think about queries as keywords that potential customers are searching in on Google search in order to find businesses like yours, products and services. You can also see the top pages, and these are the top pages over the last three months. Then we have countries, and if we click here, these are the top countries that have found your website on Google search. And then we have devices, and these are the top devices. So you can see that most of the users that discover us on Google search are finding our website using desktop. And the second most popular device is mobile, then tablet. Okay, so let's navigate back over to queries. And as you can see, with each of these different categories, you can see the total number of clicks, impressions, the average click-through rate, and the average position on Google search. So if we navigate back down, you can see that this is a popular search, Google Sites Contact Form. So many people over the last three months have been typing in Google Sites Contact Form and then clicking through to our website. As you can see, out of 788 impressions, 156 people are clicking through to that website page. That's related to this keyword. So the average click-through rate is nearly 20%, and our position on Google Search, our average position is 3.3. And ideally, you want to be in the top three spots on the first page of Google. The top three positions on Google Search receive the most clicks. 
Now let's go ahead and click on this keyword. And that's going to show you the total number of clicks, total impressions, average click through rate and the average position for that keyword or that search term over the last three months. What I can also do is click here and I want to click on 28 days and then apply. Then let's navigate over to pages and you can see the top page is this page over here for that particular keyword. And again, you can see the number of clicks, impressions, the click through rate and the position that this page is receiving for this search query, Google Sites contact form. Okay, so let's navigate over here and exit out of this. And now that you have a good understanding of your Google search console and all the metrics and analytics inside, what we're going to do is break down how you can actually optimize your website pages and posts to dominate Google search. To do that, make sure you've got the search type web and then the last 28 days selected here, then navigate down the page and make sure that you have pages selected. And this is where we can start viewing our top pages over the last 28 days. And first, what we want to do is look at the impressions. So how often is a website page or post appearing on Google search to trigger an impression? Remember, this could be someone typing in a search query, a keyword, and then scrolling down the first page of Google and one of your website pages appear, but that potential visitor does not necessarily click on your website. This counts for an impression. So we want to look for posts that have relatively high impressions. You can see that this page here, 10 web review has nearly 50,000 impressions, yet only 242 clicks, which means we have a very low click through rate and we're ranking on average 8.3 in terms of the position on the first page of Google over the last 28 days. And to ultimately increase the clicks, there are two things that we can do. The first is look at the click through rate. So we can improve this click through rate by optimizing our meta title and meta description with keywords related to this post, as well as make our meta title more compelling so people are more likely to click on our website page. Then we have position. And to improve the position, we want to optimize our content on our website page or post with relevant keywords. So remember, there's two things we can do. We can optimize the meta title and description, make it more compelling and add important keywords into the title and description. And we can also add important keywords into our content. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all in one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing that are looking for a clear cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Okay, so what keywords do we want to use to optimize our title and description to improve our click through rate as well as add to our content in order to increase our position on Google search. Well, what we can do is simply click on this page and then navigate over to queries. And if we navigate down, these are the top queries, search terms or keywords that people are searching in on Google search to find our page. They're typing in 10 web review, 10 web, 10 web.io review and more down here. We can also navigate down and we can search for more keywords that we are ranking for. Okay, so if we navigate up to position, you can see that for these keywords, we're ranking around the top six to eight spots on Google search. And remember, we wanna be in the top three spots on Google search. Now we can also click on these keywords. So for example, if I click on 10 web, that's gonna show me how this website page has been performing for this particular keyword over time. And again, we can change the period if we like, but I'm happy with 28 days because I wanna see the most recent 28 day period that we've been performing. Okay, so let's exit out of that query and that's gonna take us back to all our top queries for this particular page. And then what I wanna do is optimize this website page, the title, description, and the content with keywords that have high impressions, a low click-through rate and a low position. So what I can do is navigate over to pages and then click on this page by navigating over here and clicking on open a new tab. And that's gonna open up that website page in a new tab. Then make sure that you're adding those keywords that you're targeting, for example, 10 web into your content. So I have 10 web here as well as 10 web review. And these are two keywords that I want to target. We've got 10 web down here, then another 10 web review down here. And you'll notice that throughout this website page, 
I've recently gone ahead and I've optimized this post for those keywords that I showed you within the Google Search Console. You can see we have 10 web down here, then we have 10 web review over here. And then with each of these images, I've also added the keywords that I want to rank for that I discovered in the Google Search Console into the alt tags of these images. Now, if you wanna learn more about optimizing your website pages for search engines, and you wanna learn more about keyword research, again, I'll put some important tutorials down below in the description that you can watch following this tutorial. And those tutorials will help you dive deeper into keyword research and optimizing your pages and posts to rank higher on Google Search. Okay, so we've already optimized this website page for the keywords that we've discovered and that we're already ranking for on Google Search using the Google Search Console. Now what we want to do is optimize our meta title and description. To do that, I'm going to jump into the back end of this post. And for the purpose of this tutorial, this website that we're analyzing uses WordPress. And for me, I use a plugin called Yoast SEO to optimize my website pages for SEO. And if you want to learn more about Yoast SEO and how you can use this plugin to rank higher in Google search, then what I'll do is add a tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Now, if we navigate up to our focus key phrase, you can see that 10 web review is our focus keyword. Then if we navigate down the page, you can see our SEO title. This is our page title and then meta description down here. Again, you can see the keywords I've added in here. We've got 10 web review. We've also just got 10 web. We've also got AI website builder. And these are three keywords that I want to rank for based on the analytics within the Google search console. If I navigate down to meta description, again, you can see I've got 10 web review. We've also got just 10 web, then AI website builder here, and another keyword, which is AI WordPress website builder. And with these targeted keywords that you want to rank for in Google search that you've discovered inside the Google search console, you do not just want to add them randomly into your title or description, as well as in your website page or post content. You want to make sure that your website content flows nicely, and make sure that your keywords are added so that they make sense inside your content. Similar to what I've done here inside the title, the description, as well as inside my website content that I just showed you earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the Google Search Console. And as you can see inside the Google Search Console, back inside queries, the top queries for this website page, this 10 web review page that I just optimized, you can see that I've optimized this website page with this keyword here, as well as this keyword. And these are the two keywords that I want to increase the click-through rate. That's why I optimized the meta title and description for this page. And I also added these keywords into the content of this page, which is a strong activity for optimizing this post for those keywords and ranking higher in terms of the position on Google search. And once you've optimized your website pages, it will take time before you start seeing results. It can take one, three, or even six months before you start seeing results with the pages that you've optimized. For example, for us, what we do is we jump into the Google Search Console every Friday, and then we optimize five to 10 different posts for either existing keywords or older keywords that we want to rank higher for in Google Search, as well as to increase the click-through rate and ultimately drive more clicks. Okay, so let's exit out of this. And as you can see, we still have 28 days selected in terms of the measurement period. Then if I navigate down the page, I'm gonna go ahead and click on pages. And I've already optimized these pages. So I'm gonna navigate over to the next set of pages. Okay, so let's look for another page that we want to optimize using the Google Search Console. Now a page that stands out to me is this page here, Top Free Inventory Management Software. Why? Well, if you notice this impression score over here, you can see that we get over 50,000 impressions, which is a lot considering that this page ranks very low on Google search 51. Remember, we want to try and rank on the first page of Google, ideally in the top three spots. You can also see we have a very low click through rate at 0.1% and only 74 clicks. So again, what I wanna do is optimize the meta title and description for this page as well as add high volume and relevant keywords into the content to increase our position. And by optimizing our content and optimizing our title and description for this page, we can increase our click-through rate and ultimately drive more traffic. Okay, so let's click on this post and you can see that the impressions over the last 28 days are slowly climbing. 
which is a good sign that this website page is ranking better on Google. Now what we want to do is click on queries for this particular page and that's going to generate the top queries over the last 28 days for this page, meaning that people are typing in these keywords into Google search and then this page is being found on Google. Okay, so let's have a look at these top queries. You can see one of the top queries with the most impressions is free inventory software. And we currently have a 0.2% click through rate and we're ranking on around the third or fourth page on Google search. So what I would do is if this keyword is relevant to my post is optimize my website post for this keyword. So add this keyword throughout my content, alt tags within the images and within the meta title and description to optimize the content for this keyword. In terms of increasing the click through rate, I would work on my title and make sure that it's more compelling and enticing for a potential customer, a potential website visitor to click on my post. Now let's have a look at some more keywords by clicking across. And here we have two other queries that stand out that we want to optimize our content for. You can see they have relatively high impressions compared to these other keywords. And if I navigate across, I know that my post is all about inventory management software and it's about inventory management software for small businesses. And at the moment you can see we have zero clicks for these keywords or search queries, yet over a thousand impressions. So again, what I would do is optimize my content for these two keywords. You can see I'm very low on the position, so I'd track the position and try to rank higher on Google search for these keywords. Again, it's the same process that I showed you at the beginning. I would jump onto the front end of this post and optimize the content for these two keywords. I would add more paragraphs and sentences with these keywords added inside. I would also see if I could add these keywords into my meta title and description. So those would be the three main keywords that I would want to optimize this post for. Best inventory management software, small business inventory management, and then if I navigate back to the front and look at the top queries, I would also want to optimize my content for this keyword and possibly this keyword here. And those would be my three to four primary keywords that I want to rank higher for for this particular post. You can also see the trend of a specific post by navigating up to the date. And let's go ahead and select three months and then hit apply. Now, because this is a relatively new post, you can see that only three months ago, there were very few impressions, clicks. The click-through rate was extremely low and the position was also extremely low. But as you can see, over time, this post started ranking higher. And over the last few weeks, I've actually optimized this page for those keywords that I just showed you. So you can see that there was a slight dip, but as we optimize this post again, you can see that this page is starting to perform better. So I hope that makes sense. That is a more strategic overview of how you can use the Google Search Console to rank your website pages and posts higher on Google Search. Remember, it's all about optimizing your meta title and description description as well as the content on your website pages with the keywords that you're currently ranking for or the ones that you've discovered inside your Google search console. Remember to look for the keywords that have high impressions which means a lot of people are searching for that particular keyword. And then you want to increase your click through rate. You want to increase your position to the top three, ideally, and you want to drive more clicks. To do that, all you need to do is optimize your meta title and description, as well as the content on your website pages with these primary keywords that you want to target for each of your pages and posts. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Remember to check out the video tutorials down below in the description, which will help you dive deeper into keyword research and optimizing your website for Google search. And there we have it guys, that is it for this strategy focused Google Search Console tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.